All right, I'm going to show you how I make my hinges on these aluminum gates. Similar, or actually just like these, but using quarter instead of eighth inch material. Um, you can buy these hinges. I think they're $150 a piece. They're expensive. You know, why would you buy them if you can make them yourself? Uh, you know, this is um, channel for gates. You know, I have scrap of this laying around all the time. Piece of scrap of uh, handrail pipe. I probably got 15, 20 sticks of this. Um, so drops, they're common. They go together like this. Simple as this. Bevel the edge, bevel the edge. I come up four inches and you can see that it's beveled in here. So when it's welded, it'll get good penetration. This is quarter inch aluminum. And then that'll get ground flat and the weld will still be there. This gets welded on here. And then um, this quarter inch flat bar gets wrapped all the way around um, and welded all the way around. And they're very, very strong. So let's get these uh, on here. Okay, I got them welded on. The channels get welded all the way around. And remember, this is beveled. This gets welded here. That can be left alone, but it, it's welded all the way around. The bottom is not welded because the gate's going to have to be flipped over when we wrap it. So this is both of them. And you can see that it's welded all the way around. Okay, I'll grind this flat and we'll start the flat bar and I'll show you that. Also, I use this, I guess it's Brute Lube. Um, it's like a paste. When it gets hot, it turns into a liquid. But I'll take my flat disc, I'll stick my finger on there, and I'll just put a couple of no spots on here. And this helps to prevent your uh, grinding disc to get built up with the aluminum. I know some people use soap. I don't want to smell that crap. This stuff here, when it gets hot, you know, it grinds right off. You don't have to worry about it. You can weld. With the soap, you've got to clean all that soap off of there. it grinds off of there and the aluminum doesn't build up on your grinding disc. So let's get this wrapped. Okay, while that's still hot, I just welded it all the way around there and it's still hot. You can hammer it. Just like so. gets wrapped around just like so but it needs to be welded underneath here on the other side so that's good for now I'll do the top one and then we'll flip this gate over okay these are the finished hinges as you can see 
they're wrapped with quarter quarter inch aluminum I got a quarter inch post plus we have the eighth inch pipe so that's three eighths there and we have the eighth inch channel there so you know you can't build it any stronger than this the next thing we'll take the plastic and we'll drill this for this 5 8 bolt to go through there um, the, the plastic is actually better because the bolt will ride on the entire 4 inch of the plastic you can put bearings these bearings in it that have the shoulder you can put those in the top and the bottom also I still got to clean this edge up um, but you can put those in there but then when you have your bolt in there like this your bolts only riding on that what three eighths of an inch three eighths of an inch the entire gate so you know I would want the bolt riding on the whole thing so I'll drill the 5 eighths hole in there I have a lathe but I mean you could do this on your drill press also and then you set it in there when you weld the plates that go on the top and bottom of this to your post you do not want to weld it with this plastic in there if you weld it with this plastic in there it'll melt so what I do is I put the bearings in the top and the bottom I weld my plates to my hinge post on both sides then I take it apart I take these bearings off I slide these in there and then I put it back together when it's when it's cool I personally have a gate that's been up for five years with these not one problem um, the person that showed me how to make these he's got gates that have been up 15 20 years same hinges never ever had a problem they're strong hinges and that's why they sell them for so much if you can make them I would personally make them but this is the gate um, it's a 16 foot single swing quarter inch uh, on this side here this is a 2 by 4 8 by 8 and my piece is up on the top and this is the opposite side is 2 by 4 by 8 also to try to keep it light the pickets are 063 3 quarter by 3 quarter um, 1 16 wall pickets for weight um, they are very strong the way they're welded these are quarter by one rolled on my roller and each picket's welded on both sides um, this gate is strong and it's not going to go anywhere um, I just have to DA this side I got to clean up those welds down there like I DA these here and then this will be ready for powder coat um, I also send a piece of angle for the bottom here. I'll put a piece of angle across here. Um, that'll bolt or weld to this. He has to give me measurements where he wants his gate opener. That's my finished gate.